Right, I'm here sitting in my car, about to head into Woodrup's Cycles, which is one of the best cycling shops, not only in Leeds, but in the country. Right, let's see if my bike is ready. Now, I went into Woodrup's uh, just over a week ago. Um, issue with my Cervelo, uh, the back wheel slightly bending into the rear of the bike frame. So it's worn away part of the bike frame. It's irreparable. It'll only continue to happen even if, the, even if they straighten it up. Luckily though, this bike was available. That said, um, I don't know if it's in. And I'm flying out tomorrow to Barritz in, in the south of France, uh, near the Pyrenees or in the Pyrenees. Uh, and I might be bikeless. So um, fingers crossed, for it. let's go in there and let's have a look. I'm in Woodrup's. Now, Tony is an absolute legend of a man. So, my bike hasn't come in, uh, gutted, but at the same time, what's he gone and done? He's gonna lend me his bike. This man is with a customer right now, so I'm tough, but warm man. So, I can go to the Ritz with a bike, because uh, otherwise I'd have just been sunbathing, and no one wants to just go on holiday to sunbathe. So, Tony Woodruff, you are the man, I'm telling you. Let me show you who he is. That guy's Tony Woodruff, just right there. The legend. I just need to bang my, um, my Wahoo. Yeah, that's not big Thing on there. Yeah. But I can get oh, my saddle as well. I can just put my saddle on, that's yeah. alright. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And that's it. Happy, happy days. So this is the Woodruff showroom in the back, this frame here. Technician, what do you call yourself? Technician, mechanic, bike mechanic? I'm workshop manager. Workshop manager. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the Cervelo, my Cervelo. So I was just having the new bars put on. This is the old one. And this is uh, the new one. And it's still, still gutted. Uh, it's got, got to go to bike heaven. Uh, but there's a, uh, it's back here. And the tire is rubbing. Can you see the tire there? Get in focus. You see that? And that, that's where it's just been it's worn away, but it's, it's been rubbing all around the tyre. But obviously, at this section here, it's, it's really bad. So I'm lucky, and that's been rubbing on the inside in here. And I was wondering why I was only actually seeing, feeling, hearing it when I was going up hills. But that's because I was flexing, I was moving the bike as I was uh, going up the hills and that's why I was hearing that creaky noise. I wasn't hearing it on the flats. So, wheels aren't that old. But yeah, bike's done. So this is Craig, the, um, he's told me he's not the chief mechanic, he's, he's the what, he's store manager? Workshop manager. Workshop manager, that's right. So, I'm trying to explain myself exactly what's wrong with this Cervelo. Uh, but I'm terrible at explaining things. So Craig, tell me, what, what is wrong with, with the bike? So the carbon on the dropout, where your wheel sits, has become P-shaped. So it means that the wheel can shimmy to one side rather than sitting completely square. Once the wheel's up in position, it can move side to side. And when you put power on, it pulls the wheel over and touches the front. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's happened to a few Cervelos of that era. And this is the man himself, Tony Woodruff. <laughs> The legend that is Tony Woodruff. I can't believe it. Honestly, he's he's the man. When you when you when you Honestly, uh, I really appreciate it. I'll look after it. I'll look after it. Gears work really well. Brakes fine. Yeah, it is. Six pounds. Side door saddles on. Yeah. That's it. Good job, Greg. Nice one. They said it in there, sod's law, when you order something and you're not too bothered about it coming, 
it ends up turning up really early. But you order something and you really want it, you're desperate for it to come and arrive. It never comes, or it does come, but it comes just too late. I'm setting out to Gatwick tomorrow, nine o'clock in the morning. We're setting off, so uh, it will turn up probably the first delivery in the morning tomorrow, but that's gonna be too late. It's all good anyway. Uh, I'm really pleased Tony's lent me his bike. Um, it's not his, his, his air bike, it's his, just his uh, commuting bike. Um, it's there in the pack, in the back just there. So I'm chuffed to bits um, Tony's lent me this because it would have been a case of me going to Biarritz um, and just uh, going to cafes and uh, doing the odd run and the odd swim. But it's not the same, you want to ride your bike. When you've got a bike you can see the place a little bit better, you can go out from where you're staying, go out a little, travel a little bit further, uh, see some of the villages and uh, just a landscape of um, that area of France. Um, so let's get home anyway, get it packed uh, and get ready. I'm really excited now I've got this bike. So thank you Tony Woodrup, I owe you. I'll have to get you a little present. Cheers. Right, off we go. Tony, I just want you to see the bike packed nice and tightly. Put some bungee straps just to keep these on just to make sure that's pulled on there we've got a strap here strap in the center strap around there and then put this padding here to protect it was difficult trying to work this one out not to take being able to take off the stem usually i can take off the stem but yours is fixed isn't it so that created some problems like a rubik's cube trying to work it out but it was an easier bike to uh, take apart taking off the rear derail off the hanger just so there's no snappage in case anything does move move in here but yeah nice and secure wheel secure they won't turn either I just need to take the air out of these which I will do now but happy days and I'll just put these on just to protect it even more so so Thank you very much.